All right, and in that last segment, you saw an upset? No, not really, not an upset, but a big surprise to say the least. Ray Steele, the former HWA champion, knocked out in the first round. And right now, we've got tag team action. Let's go for the introduction. This is a tag team contest scheduled for one fall. In the ring, hailing from Tokyo, Japan, and Seoul, Korea, representing WCW, the team of Kaz Hayashi and Jimmy Yay! And their opponent. Hello, ladies. And their opponents. Coming to the ring, Al Venus and Steve Blackman should be the combination of Yang and Hayashi, all they can handle. Coming to the ring, Billy from Las Vegas, Nevada, and Anvil, Pennsylvania, representing the WWF, the team of Val Venus, and the lethal weapon, Steve Blackman. Well, you know what, Brock Guffman, uh, Hayashi, and Yang have scored some big wins here on TV. Uh, they must be considered one of the strongest teams in the war of HWA, WCW, but today's test Val Venus and Steve Blackman will certainly show how tough they really are. Most definitely, and don't let the size factor fool you. I mean, they are definitely not going to be backing down from Steve Blackman and Val Venus. I mean, they're used to, like, Godzilla and Rodan. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They are used to Godzilla and Rodan. Good thought, Rock. Uh, Steve Blackman may not be Godzilla or Rodan, but I'd say right now, Jimmy Yang would rather have either one of the former because Steve Blackman has opened up strong on offense, arm whip. And Yang with an elbow staggers Blackman. Oh, wheelbarrow suplex by Steve Blackman. Backbreaker across the knee. And Yang kicks out just on the two count. Blackman and Venus are like, they're wanting to get a quick win here, Brock. I think, I think Jimmy Yang may be out with no place to eat right now, Les. With no place to eat? Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty set up by Val Venus with a super kick of Steve Blackman. Venus right now on top of Jimmy Yang, scoops him for the slam, drives him south. This is what Venus and Blackman need to do. They need to keep doing these large power moves to them, keep them off their feet, because on their feet, they are a dangerous duo. Yes, they certainly are. In the air, Yang and Hayashi may actually have the advantage. When it comes to stand on the mat, Blackman and Venus with a size and power advantage, and they are trying to utilize it, as you can see right now. There came a little bit of that quickness Jimmy Yang was able to go behind Val Venus, give some forearms to the back, tagging Kaz Hayashi. Oh, but Val Venus is back out, out it again. Hayashi trying to get I don't the think Kaz Hayashi wants to be in there now. <laughs> Venus dropping that knee. Let's see if he can get the pin. Hayashi out on one. Right back to his feet, and obviously that's where he needs to be, staying on his feet with the bigger Val Venus. Yang trying to help out on the outside, angers Venus, and the knee taken out from behind with a, a chop block by Kaz Hayashi. That's exactly the kind of strategy Kaz Hayashi and Jimmy Yang needed to go for. You can't really body slam him from the mat. You know, Venus's name was uh, not drawn in the heavyweight tournament, but next week, Blackman faces easy money in one of the last two first round pairings. Oh, they drop right down on the knee of Val Venus, Jimmy Yang, and Venus in pain as Yang is gonna take it further, drives the back of that knee down across the ring apron, and maybe I'm, Yang and Hayashi have found the Achilles heel. I'm not sure if Val Venus could have made a match next week the way that they're working on that knee right now. Oh. Staying on the knee. We've been seeing we've been seeing a lot of people today having specific game plans to stand with them. Yes. Well, you know, and that's the way you go in there to win, Brock, as you well know. Pick a body part, take it away, take out one of the five points of balance, and you have put your man in jeopardy. Right now, Kaz Hayashi scooping Venus. Gonna, Whoa! Uh, gonna hook him up in that buckle. Kaz Hayashi, like that, 
like that song in the 50s, the little ant that could move the rubber tree plant. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know about ants and rubber tree plants, but Kaz Ayashi working the single leg. Goes to work on the leg. Let's we'll see what he's setting up here. A good combination. He's going to work oh. on that knee. Venus caught him setting up in the driver's seat. Nails him in the head once again. It's like Val Val's been able to reverse it. Ayashi looking for the ropes, looking for a tag, for any way out he can get, and he finds the rope. Break is made. Venus needs to make the tag to Steve Blackman. Venus kicks the Ayashi off, scoops him. Oh. Turns him into that power bomb, and the leg gave out on him just as he set Hayashi crashing to the canvas. Let's see if Val can make the tag. He does. Fresh and it's Steve Blackman on the move. Leg trip again, kicking his man out. Man, Blackman is so quick. How do you counter that, Brock? I don't know. I think you counter it by just laying down at that point. The lethal weapon, Steve Blackman, going for the submission. Oh. Yang off the top. Nails Blackman, putting the boots to him now. Well, that's a good way to counter it. Double team. Uh oh! And Yang sends flying outside. Blackman takes Kaz Hayashi up into the gorilla press slam. Slams him down. Venus with the money shot. Talk about teamwork. Man, oh man, oh man. Great teamwork and a combination of Steve Blackman and Val Venus. A strong win for that combination. And of course, Blackman takes that win into next week's tournament matchup. The first TV loss for the team of Hayashi and Yang. We'll be back with our Hanging with Steve Bradley segment right after this.